Hello there, year 10s. Good to be back. Okay. We're going to move on a little bit today uh, and we're going to go back to some of the controlled assessment that we were looking at. Okay. Hopefully many of you from next week will start to come back in school. And when you do come back in school, this is what I want you to focus on on your laptops when you're in the lesson. Uh, even if you don't intend to come back to school, again, uh, this will be available via show my homework and uh, you know, you need to be doing this as well. So whether you're in school or out of school, this is the focus for this week, okay? Uh, developing sports skills, so it was LO4, and it was the coursework, if you cast your minds back before we uh, had the lockdown, it was the coursework that we were doing in lessons before we started badminton. Now, a couple of you finished this, and there'll be some other work on show my homework for you to crack on with, but uh, the rest of us weren't quite there, okay? We were at least three quarters of the way through, we're well on our way to completing this, but we need to be in a position before the summer where we've all finished this and then from September, we're all at the same stage and we can all move and push on onto the next section. Okay, so this is going to be for the focus now, uh, certainly for this week and possibly the week after as well. Quick recap from last, uh, last session though. We were talking about the nine user groups. Uh, let's see now how many of those you can remember. So press pause and have a go. Can you name all nine? Okay then, let's see how we got on with that. They're the nine that we looked at last week. Ethnic minorities, retired people, teenagers, children, families with young children, single parents, unemployed, disabled people, and working singles and couples. So hopefully that's starting to get fresh in our minds again. We also had the eight barriers that can prevent you from taking part in sports. And again, we looked at this last week. So using your fingers to count, how many of the eight can we get? Press pause now and have a go, please. Okay, let's see how we got on. So we should have had a lack of employment or a lack of time, lack of disposable income, family commitments or childcare issues, accessibility, Lack of role models, awareness or lack of awareness of the provision. Uh, there might not be the provision of activities there and the portrayal of gender issues by the media. Okay, so we want to keep those fresh in our mind, keep practicing those. We want those, uh, be able to recall those nice and easy moving forwards. But moving on to today then. You were shown this and you've got these in your in your folders. Uh, this basically is the controlled assessment, what you need to include, okay? So let's cast our minds back. It has been a few months on this now. So you all chose a particular sport. Many of you chose football. Some chose badminton, cricket, gymnastics, etc. But you've chosen a sport. And the idea was you were going to uh, produce a plan on how to improve. And that included identifying what are your strengths, identifying what are your weaknesses, saying what the main uh, skills are for that particular sport and you had to describe what types of practice each one is and then you had to move on to say how would you go about improving it and that's when you and this is the thing most of us have got to so we've done the three main headings there we've done this one here we've done this one here we've done this one here pretty much everyone has finished those and now we're on the last two okay some of us are still on this one here uh, methods to improve our own performance and this is where you were showing diagrams showing different drills etc the key thing with this if you're still on this section is if you're let's say you're doing passing in football how to develop passing in football it needs to start off simple and have progressions by progressions we mean that we're making it harder so it might start off uh, the first one for instance might just be simple passing static passing uh, 10 yards apart then you might move a bigger distance away. You then might try different types of passing. You then might put a defender in the way. So gradually you're building it up. And you can use images to highlight that as well as many of you have already started doing. You then need to decide um, how you can measure that improvement. Okay, and this is really, really important. And this is what many of you will be moving on to. And this is the bottom section here. Okay, how to measure that improvement. Now, what we mean by this is, and there's some examples there, so, and the bullet point above that yellow box is also included in this as well. So you've got use of tools to aid evaluation. So this might be video analysis. So you might say one way uh, to aid me judging how well I'm doing, I could get a coach 
or appear a friend to video me doing a header or a forward roll or whatever your particular sport is. And this would allow you to see if you've improved and see how you're getting on. Some other examples there on how to measure that improvement. Okay, it could be to keep video diaries. It could be a coach telling you things. It could be monitoring, monitoring competition results over time. It could be, for instance, if your choice was cricket, then you might look at your batting averages or your bowling statistics. Okay, if you're a striker in football, you might record how many goals you score each season. If it's gymnastics you might or swimming, then you might uh, be able to um, look at the proficiency awards. So you might be bronze, silver or gold or level four or level five or whatever it might be. Okay, when you're describing those, this is what I want you to think about. And you've obviously seen this in lessons as well. Okay, because we're aiming for the top, so we're aiming for as maximum marks. All right, so this is what we're going for. Now then, occasionally in lessons, some of you have said to me, okay, what do you think of this serve? Have I written enough? Is this is this good enough, etc.? And I always brought back this little phrase here, didn't I? And I got you to read it and think, well, you know, that sentence that I've written there, would that be classed as basic? Would that be classed as detailed in some aspects? Or would that be classed as detailed in most aspects? And in nearly every occasion, when you ask me, have I done enough or is this good enough? When I put that up on the board, you knew whether it was basic or not. And you knew looking at the amount of work you've done there on whether that's enough detail or not. You might not know the specific content and whether that content was accurate or, or had the key terms, etc. But you know, looking at it really, whether that's basic or whether it's detailed. And we need to be pushing uh, to get that detail in there. Now, at any point, you can email me uh, the work, okay, at jpridmore at bolsover.derbyshire.sch.uk. Uh, and I will gladly have a look at it, give a little bit of feedback and send it back to you for you to improve further. That's not a problem at all. I will be in some of the lessons um, that you've got, but not necessarily all of them, okay? So it's important that you log back on and once you get under school network, uh, you get your um, you get your assignment up. Uh, if you have any issues doing that, I can access them for you. So if you are at home and you need access and you haven't got it saved on a memory stick or you can't get the access, um, then if you drop me an email and I shall make sure it's sent over to you. Okay. You were all given one of these, and this basically is just in a little bit more student friendly speak, and it summarises what was on the previous slide. And the key thing here uh, that you need to be looking at in particular is uh, this box, how to measure improvement. That section is really important. Obviously, you should only do that when you've got to it. And some of us are on this big section in the bottom left corner here, how to improve your skills. OK, and that's where you're doing those progressive drills and those progressive practices. But when you finish that, it's this yellow box and the box above as well that you need to move on to. OK, they're quite important um with the, with the purpose of getting the top marks you need to have that section in this section highlighted in red some of you have done that okay just to uh just to really enhance your your uh, assignment that's not absolutely essential at this stage okay so if you haven't done the warm-up or developing fitness don't worry about that it's this yellow box here and finishing your how to improve your skills okay and how that should be how to improve your skills not your skills if you have any issues, you drop me an email. That's not a problem at all. I look forward to seeing some of you in school starting next week. If you have finished this, then um, that's not a problem. There will be some other work that I will be putting on show my homework uh, for you to catch up on. Okay. And I'll catch you next week. <laughs>